Chapter 9, Alive. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Well, do I know what Alive means, but still. With the homie Roderick. Now we got us a blacksmith. Look, it's up. Succeeded? Here. I have to warn you, smells a bit burnt. Who's he? Yeah, we'll it. But shh. Uh, the sanguinis, it's an error. What is this book about? It's it's the story of a little boy who's going to get a lot better now. Right, I'm starving. Anyone else? Me. Come and eat then. I think we deserve it. You too. Coming. Three weeks later? Damn. So they actually, well, that's cool. They actually reside there. December 13th. 1348. Hmm. Christmas time. No, no, no! Bloody hell! That's no good. Hey, are you alright? It's nothing. Tell me, this door, have you ever opened it before? It's stuck. It's the only place in the chateau we haven't been yet. Don't you want to see what's behind it? Well, Hugo is asleep. Let's go take a look. This, at least, I know how to do! <laughs> there you go. Well, that was... efficient. And almost painless. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Can you feel that? No, hmm. what? When you enter a place that has been abandoned for a very long time, there's something in the air. Yes, dust. No, the stones. It's like interrupting a conversation. <sighs> this is the first time I felt it here. Hmm. I dig what he means. Hmm. That looks dangerous. Let's avoid it for now. Another door. Shall we continue? Of course. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, the courtyard. It's a shortcut. <laughs> Oh, hey, I almost forgot. I found something while I was doing some clearing earlier. Come take a look. Another story about stones? Actually, you're not far off. A fresco. It's strangely familiar. It includes the symbols of the pillars. This castle has things to tell us, huh? And what is it telling us then? Even I don't understand everything. I just think we'll be fine here. Amicia! Come quickly! It's Hugo! Oh no. I'm coming! Need me? Shit. Uh, I'll call you! Come on! Come on! I'm here, Lucas! Quickly! Hugo, please. Oh no. It's getting worse and worse. The macula is progressing too fast. I realize that, Amicia. I'm doing my best. I... I mean, I'm trying to do what the book says, but it's going to take too long. I need a proper laboratory. Like Laurentius had? No. No. One with better equipment. Well, perhaps my mother, at my home. She must have had some equipment there. You're right. It's worth a try. Great, so I gotta carry him? Damn. Can't the blacksmith help you build that shit? Uh, poor kid. As annoying as he is, he shouldn't be suffering. I believe your twins are back. Melly! Hey! You found him! More dead than alive. But yes. Amicia, we, we came because, well... Yes. Arthur, you tell her. 
After our little adventure with your heretic burning friends, I ended up in an inquisition cell. One day I saw the guards accompany a prisoner who looked the worse for wear. Those bastards wanted her to tell them where her son was, so they threatened her. And I heard her name. Beatrice Storo. Mother is alive. She's alive. Shit. You managed to get Arthur out? It wasn't simple. Believe me. So you could... Forget it. I was nothing. She... She's too important to the Grand Inquisitor. He, uh... Questions her... A lot. They... Torture her? Hugo mustn't know anything of this. Even that she's alive? It might help him. And what will we say when he wants to see her? Tell him nothing, all right? <coughs> oh no! Hugo! Hugo! Ah! Ah! The next threshold, ah! it's coming. We have to go at once, to my home, now. You go, we'll stay here with him. It will be all right, my little brother. I swear, this time we will heal you. All right. I'll get the Sanguinity Genera and some potions, and then we'll leave. Damn. Fuck. At least the thieves were nice enough to chill with them. All that remains. Hey, that's a band, all that remains. Ooh, it's snowing. We're here. Dang, that was quick. Amicia, you're going to be all right? Yes. It's just strange to be back. Let's go. How long has it been? I never thought I'd like come back months? here. Like two months? Not so soon. We find the potions and we leave. We might even get home before sunrise. Fine by me. Mm. We can't cross there. That bridge was at least a century old. Technically, you can. Everything looks completely destroyed. It's the end of the old world. If that's true, how come you're so calm? Look, the standard of the Inquisition. Are they still there? Let's be careful. No, I don't understand. Video game logic, man. Don't fall. Jeez. Don't fall. You could easily cross that. I would have crossed it. What the hell is that? Look out, Lucas! What the... What's the matter with them? I don't know, but I don't like it. Let's get out of here. They're not even paying hey. attention to us. Oh, must be some kind of spell. Lucas, we'll deal with that later. Come on. Oh, shit. Fucking damn it, rats. Oh, there are so many of them. When Hugo and I ran away... I remember something attacked the gods. I think it's thanks to the rats that we were able to escape that day. Uh, I see. This must be one of the first places they came from. But it doesn't explain their behavior. Yeah, quite true. Hmm. Maybe somebody's controlling them. Yeah. This doesn't have any kind of sci-fi fantasy to it. They're not welcome here. I'll show them. Bitch. This is my home. Do you hear me? My home. Stupid rats. Oh, Hurry up before they come back. More rats. The domain is straight ahead. Side. Wait, the lantern. We must have used it to get the troops through. Good idea. I'll have a clear shot. You can go back down. Tell me when you're ready. I'm there. 
Alright, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, you stupid. Keep it on me, alright? I think I'd make it here without you. The system works really well. I'm ready. Don't forget me. How can I, friend? Turn it, turn it, turn it. Looks like I had to break it. Can't even finish eating this horse. Thank you. Uh, Lucas, we're not alone. Oh. A god, he's still alive. Someone, help me. The rats. You, tell me, how many of you are there? Oh, it hurts. I don't want to die. Not like this. Like this? You executed my family. You deserve a painful death. Please, have mercy. Don't you ever use that word. I'm not going to get anything useful out of him. Now what? What kind of bullshit? Who the hell are you? The daughter of Robert and Beatrice de Roux. Oh no. Please, please have mercy. Shut up. I'm leaving you to your fate. Is this real? Fuck! My home. Is that... Is that a body over there? No. No, oh, please. Let me see we can stop. Find another way. No. I have to see. Who is it? Is he your father? Ah, shit. No. What are they doing? Oh, fuck. Get back. So, you saved our lives. We'll celebrate later. We need to get to the chamber. It's that window up there. You should take the torch. Don't worry. I'll lead the way. Thank you. Beth. 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 Alicia, that body with no armor. It's one of our servants, but his body. Yes, the guards were eaten alive. He wasn't. Why? There must be a reason. If only I knew. The great break. 
Its aftershocks continue to ripple through time. Die, die. A <sighs> tool. Yes, they're avoiding them. What on earth is going on here? This be a curse controlled by the by the kid. Nah. Here we are. It's up there. <clears throat> Whoa! Look out! They're all converging here. They're going towards his room. The potions for Hugo must be in there. Lucas, those pots? Simple infusions. Not strong enough. There must be others. So, this is it? Yes, it's Hugo's room. <sighs> His room is just fine. There, there are other pots. Everything... Everything's like it was before. Oh, that's not it. Neither's this. Pfft, no. Lucas. Or this. Why hasn't his room been no, touched? No, no, no. It's, it's not here. Still no luck? No. They're, they're, these are normal standard potions. Your mother must have been working on a more complex elixir. There has to be something else. Another place. Another not room. Did I you know can't of. just make an opus magnum like that. She must have a laboratory somewhere. I don't know. I don't see where. Laurentius, he built his laboratory away from prying eyes. So your mother must have also... She told me nothing. I never but saw her. But that's it. Isn't there a place where she didn't want you to go? I don't know. Some well, place she protected. The old Roman ruins. She didn't want me to go there. The Roman ruins? Yes, definitely an idea from an alchemist. Exactly where are they? The garden. Let's go. Off we go. Get ready to run. Ready. Run! Come on, go! Come on, come on! Don't miss! Thanks for the help! It's all right. I don't believe it. Look at them. Like a river. A river of rats. It's the only way to get to the baths. Wait! The cart. We can relight the fire and push it and... No. I'll light it and you push it. What? All by myself. You saw what happened earlier. You think they're just going to let us pass like that? All right. All right. But get your ammunition ready. Because we haven't done all this for nothing. Come on, Lucas. Let's go. Be will be. Breathe. It's really. Gavi, come on, make an effort. <laughs> an effort. I don't think I spent my life in a cellar. The ground is vibrating. Yes. Do you feel it? Yes. Yes, they're coming. Ian, Listen, if you want to take my sling... I'll handle it! Eat it, bitches! I don't want to die! 
Thank you, Lucas. You see? You're pretty tough. Yes, but I don't think I'll ever walk again. Oh, come on. I don't know what my mother hid under there, but you don't want to miss it, do you? Oh, no. Come on. Let's go. So this is the Sudatorium. The Romans came here to sweat with the steam. Yes, it was. Oh, look, the sculptures. What? Alchemical animals, putrefaction, purification, amalgamation, and sublimation. The symbol in the basin represents putrefaction as well. These symbols used to fascinate me. There are more in the other two basins. Three symbols, four sculptures. There's a fire under that one. So we can probably light the others, too. Mm. There must be a way to get to them. Putrefaction, purification, amalgamation, and sublimation. The symbol in the basin represents oh, Great! Hey, what does it look like down there? A nest. They're all around me, and I, I can't see a thing. Right, let's go. I'll try to guide you. And how do you intend to do that? The light. All right, can you see anything? Purification and sublimation. Toad, swan, and serpent. So. So our friend the lion is hiding a secret. <sighs> he needs mouth, perhaps. Help us, mother. Go on. You discovered her secret, Amicia. You've earned this. Ooh. He 
It's pitch black in here. It seems huge. Save your ammo. I'll take care of it. There you go. So, what do you see? Complementary products, stabilizers, reagents, noble materials, vastly superior to what we saw in the bedroom. This is it, Amicia. Good. Good. Amicia, these notes are handwritten by a mother. Tried a new transformation, but the elixir is incomplete. The torch of the carrier disappears, leaving my son in the darkness of the macula. She was on the right track, Amicia. What we're looking for is definitely here somewhere. But where? What does it look like? Over there. It looks like there's something. Another fresco. A child oh. in the arms of its mother. But these marks on its torso, Lucas. The prima macula. But this fresco is at least eight centuries old. And yet this has happened before. But how many times? Who knows? Sanguinis itinera. The voyages of the blood. The macula travels through history. It's already changed the world and will do so again. This. This box has a phoenix on it. The symbol of the great alchemical work. Amicia, I think we found it. Open it. All right. Oh, shit. Lucas, look. Advanced crystallization. Blue-green edging. Substance clear. What? Lucas? Amber fragrance. Amazing. Spit it out. What on earth is it? The cure for Hugo. She was making progress. But she didn't have time to finish it. You mean the same cure that you... Yes, without the book. It's incredible she was able to get this so far. So perhaps we can use it ourselves. With the book and my preparation, I think... I think I may be able to finish it. You seem off to a good start, Magister. Didn't she tell me? I would have understood. I would have. Ow! I would have done the same thing, Amicia. She was an alchemist, and, you know, her mother protects her children, doesn't she? Damn it. No, no, not now. How are we going to get out of here? Forget it. Just finish the cure. I'll hold them back. I don't believe it. Why now? Lucas, we have to get a move on. I'm reading. Your mother stopped the sun door. She found the torch, but she didn't know how to light it. It doesn't make sense. They're symbols. She was looking for the missing element, but the book says you must empty the vessel for the spirit to fill it. Your mother was mistaken. We must not add, but subtract. Find me some macerate while I prepare the mix. There has to be some around here. Macerate? What's that? Where will I find it? In the pharmacopoeia. In the alcove with the curtain. On... about then please after you the hell oh shit what the hell's going on Did it. We did it. Laurentius would be proud of you. 
I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. At least we know for certain now. If the Alexia is linked to the rats, that means there's a link to the carrier. Yes, but first things first. We have to save Hugo. worked wonders. We have the elixir. I always knew you were a good uh, one. Thanks. Come on. Let's go see Hugo. Hugo, you're not sleeping? Hey, look. We did it. The elixir. Lucas made it. Here you go. It might be a little bitter. Never mind. Drink it in one gulp. Very good. So, am I cured now? Um, well... In any case, you'll soon be a lot better. Misia, will we never see Mommy again? Oh, Hugo. I told you. She... She won't be coming back. No. And it, and it doesn't hurt where she is? No, no, of course not. Mm. Let's all go to bed now, eh? And tomorrow, when you wake up, you'll feel a lot better. You'll see. Something about him just seems strange. Could it just be the sickness making him look weird? Completed that chapter. Now we're on 13. E, almost there. 17 chapters. All right, chapter 13, penance. It's only getting good. Hopefully, little Hugo is cured. I wonder what we got to do next. Probably save the mother. But something tells me that priest dude, whatever the hell his name is, is going to get in the way. <laughs> Amicia! Amicia, you won't believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the sling! That's not true! He was in front of the line! <laughs> You're just rubbish! <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh! If you don't play by the rules... You're going to tell me... Hugo! ...about rules! I keep telling Have you him. seen Hugo? Kid, fucking Hugo. Damn that Hugo, man. We even slapped that kid across the face when we had the chance. Hugo. Now that he's cured, it won't feel bad. Hugo. Oh no. Easily just climb out of oh, there, right? My head. <sighs> Gently now. Gently. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. 
probably went to go save mom. Is that a, a, a village here? No way, you have to be hallucinating. Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please. Oh, Amicia. Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Clovey? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? He's hallucinating. I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go, and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a news outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo. Are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! What the fuck? did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard mommy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. <laughs> It's mommy! What? It's coming from over there! We have to go! No! You're not going! But why? Let go of me! Hugo! I'm coming, mommy! Come back! Mommy, where are you? No, Hugo! There! She's in there! Mommy! Stop! It's not oh. her! I'll kill all of you! No, not now. 
in chapter 14 that quick? What the fuck just happened? It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Fuck Only the you. Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. Oh great, now I gotta play as him. <laughs> Duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the fight. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. Captain! Have look, Captain. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may. It's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. But... Proceed. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, 
You are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. Huh? But not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. Is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. Both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. <laughs> Attention! Nothing. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. If she sees her son with a knife to his throat, she'll be alright. Nicholas go past. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Uh, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh no, she's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. She must be near. We can't get out. Ah, please. At least let me die out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here, your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard. Hey, kid. What the hell are you doing here? Shh. I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh, you should. Sure? Magistrate Arun, for the last time, will you answer my questions? Or perhaps you are still upset about what happened to your husband? Right, our torturer will take care of you. 
You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. But, so they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia? My darling. You must go, if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Oh my god. All right, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. What does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Go for it. Hugo, can you hear them? Yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. So, Beatrice, you are reunited with your son at last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula, and it has not yet finished with him, which means neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? I beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, 
You have yet to see just how. That's an old man like you guys do. the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia. It's Amicia. How tiresome. But he's close now. And we have other pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone. What else do you want? <laughs> A lot more. Okay. So much more. And you will stay here with me, to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. We shall succeed. Son of a bitch. That's the end of that chapter. Alright, two more to go. Can we do this? I'm worried. Hugo. Me alone. Hmm. One month later. <sighs> Come on, stop dreaming. The others must be up. The rats will be coming. We need to light the fires. I want it. Come on! I think Roderick is working in the yard. Please open the still frozen. Uh, yes. It's a tough winter this year. Anyway, how was your nap? Feeling better? A little. Did you dream of him again? Yes. I'm going to prepare a special brew of St. John's Wort for you. Well, that's all right, Lucas. I don't need it. I miss him, that's all. I have to accept that he won't be coming back. Amicia. You're going to be all right? <sighs> I'm going to go see the others. Oh, can you tell Melly about the chest? Of course. <sighs> Melly's going to say something like, you should just piss on it. But it's way too cold for that. What if? What if? What if? What if you <coughs> stop living like an animal? Oh, um, hello, Amicia. Hey, sorry, am I interrupting? Uh, no. Arthur was just saying he wants to leave again. Come on! I want us to stay alive, that's all. Like we've always done. Listen, it'll be dark soon and we have to light the fires. Can you help me, Arthur? Go on. Try not to annoy the hell out of her. <laughs> why would I do that? Because you're a pain in the ass, that's why. Oh, Lucas needs help with his chest. Yeah, right. He just wants to see me, that's all. <sighs> all right. Ready when you are, Amicia. <gasps> There you go. All right, that's it. Uh, is everything all right, Roderick? Everything's fine. This damn thing is going to work. Hey, calm down. If you break everything. <laughs> ah, and there you go. Now the braziers will stay put. The Roderick method. Random, but effective. <laughs> Try it. I intend to. Right. You take that one, I'll look after the other brazier. Whenever you're ready. 
something wrong? Inside. I hope they're all right. If the rats have got in... Amicia, they're not kids anymore. They're used to it. I don't want to take any more risks. I'm not going to lose anyone else. What I'd really like is to be as far away from here as possible. Well, I'm not a magician, huh? Are you all right? No. What the hell is going on? Arthur, did you get bitten? No. We have to get out of here. But the castle was made to resist. Lucas, there were never so many before. This is not a simple infestation. What the hell is it then? Oh, shit. This way! Quickly! Got that bastard! 
dead. Amicia. Arthur, go make sure he's dead. I have to... I have to speak to Hugo. Go ahead. I'll take care of him. Hugo? Hugo! I just want to talk to you. He can't hurt you anymore, Hugo. Look! All right, all right. I won't move. You come here. Come on. You lied to me! No! No! I... Hugo... I was trying to protect you. I... I... Stop it, please! I'll kill them all! I'll burn their fucking banner! Ellie, you'll never make it! What about you? You're just gonna stand there! Just wake up! Look! You don't know what you're saying! I do know we're getting killed! One by one! They got my brother! Your father! Yours! There's nothing left! Nothing! She's right. Amicia. This is crazy. Five of us. Against... Against an arm. I think there are a lot more of us now. Has... Has he passed the threshold? Yes. I believe so. Hugo, what do you want to do? I want to save Mommy. That changes a lot of things. Even if it kills us, what have we got to lose? Us? Nothing. But Vitalis. Now we can stop him. So let's go. To the death. To the, to death. the death. All right. Oh, but poor Arthur. All right. Chapter fifteen. I mean sixteen. Is it sixteen? Yes, it is. All righty. Almost there. Two more chapters to go. I hope we don't lose the girls. It's huge. How are we 
we going to find Mummy? We'll get her out of there, Hugo. Right, that's enough hanging around. Hey, wait! I'm really sad. She'll be all right. But can't we help her? That's why we're here. To help her get revenge. And to keep her alive. We got the kid and the rats. We rip. Oh shit! What's the matter? Melly, calm down. Those fucking rats blocked the safest entrance. They didn't mean to do it, Melly. They... We don't have a choice. We have to try the great door. But watch out. Oh, Melly, wait! Is she angry with me? No. She's just angry full stop. But... Give her... Hey. Do you think it's already started? I hope so. There's more and more of them around here. Three. It's risky. Dallas knows what he's doing. The I better off he's in the back door. That's what he says. Chances are it's locked. They're going. We don't even know what's really going on in that Time to make our move. Lucas, follow me. Millie. Have faith. In the meantime, we have a job to do. Right, I'm going back. Be careful. Oh, shit. I'll be seen. Hey! Stop! I'm going to help him. Stay here. I hope they make it. She knows the town. She'll lead them a dance. Come on, we have to take advantage. The only way to the cathedral. We must find a way to cross. The cart, Roderick. If we push it to the port Callis, it will give us cover. Hugo will be protected behind it. Hey! Leave it, Amicia. What are you doing? Stay back with your brother. I'm pushing. Roderick, let me help. I'll be fine. If you want to help, keep an eye out for guards. All right. <coughs> All right, let's do this. Hi, Roderick! Don't worry about me, kid. Oh, man, I hope nothing happens to him. He's a very good friend. Oh my god! 
Don't throw Jake. I'm a bit better. I'm right behind you. All right. Damn. Hugo, go! Your turn. Roderick. Hugo. Fuck. Come on. We have to go. Fuck, dude. Roderick and Arthur sacrifice themselves. Just leave me alone! She's right, Millie. Roderick. He's gone, Hugo. He's resting now. I can't take any more of these bloody rats! Bastards! But they're going to get us too. Really? How? Like this. How do you... Hugo, tell me you're going to help us kill those bastards. Meli, we've got no chance without your brother, Amicia. You get that, right? I will help you, and you're going to help us save Mummy. You've got yourself a deal. Some family. Millie! Help me. No one else must get in. Want to understand, Beatrice? Mommy! My child. Hugo! Amicia! Mother! Did Vitalis do this? He sacrificed mm. them. 
He's past the threshold! Go get out of here! Oh, for pity's sake. Hugo, are you ready? Yes. The rats are here. Then let's go. Stay close to me. We're coming too. Let her go, Vitalis! This is your last chance! Hugo, your power! You have to be careful! I'm fine! Don't worry! Kids is a very gifted student. Too bad he's forgotten who taught him everything he knows. Shut up, you old fool! We're here to kill you, not listen to your speeches! And yet, look at you. Walking towards me like lost sheep to their shepherd. That's enough, Vitalis! You're alone! Give us back our mother or... Or what, exactly? I still have things to teach the carrier. And his friends. <laughs> You're so touching. Thank Fucking you. Cool. Thank you for your care. The angel of the new world! Get oh, back. shit! The light! Eight. I saw it! Come on! Lucas! Melly! Stay there! No! I can help you! I can! It's our blood, Melly! Alright! Destroy him! Oh, Unite and devour them! What the? Oh, he's getting them to regroup! They're not stopping! The lightning is stopping them! You I can do it! Just kill him. The true power! Don't him. The gift of self! I am unity! I am the blood of blood that connects all people! Die! Become one again!
I sacrifice my flesh to become the crucible where everything unites. You cannot kill that which has been sublimated. Stomp his face. Damn, that was an annoying fight. Hugo! Calm down. It's over. Was it was about to be fucking possession? Jeez. Hmm. Well, we'll wait for after the credits to see if there's like any uh, any extra footage. Then I'll just give you guys my point of view of this whole game. Yep, I was right. Chapter 17 for each other. After the credits, this popped up. Let's go. Have you got everything? Yes, that's all Lucas asked for. Is Mummy going to get better with this? She will be all right, Hugo. Mummy is tough, isn't she? Just like you. That's right. I can't wait for us to find a new castle. Well, <laughs> you've got the taste of a king now. We'll see what we can do. We have to leave the region first. So, were you able to go home? Yes. The nest is still there, but it's empty. Oh, Amicia, oh, look! If the rats are going for good, try your hand at shooting. They are. Not me. My sister's really good. Right, Amicia? All right. Let's have a go. Good. Good. The rule is simple. You have six stones, six possible shots. Try and shoot as many targets as possible. Are you ready? Ready. Go on, Amicia. <laughs> Can I hit the chicken? Respect. <laughs> yes, Amicia, well done. The apple's for you, Hugo. You're my biggest supporter. Oh, thanks. I was hungry. As always. Hey, today we're celebrating the third day without rats. There's a little fair down the street. Go take a look. A fair? A real fair? I've never seen a fair before. Hugo, Lucas is waiting for us. We should be getting back. But it's a fair. Come on. Hugo. <laughs> All right, but we can't stay long. Hmm. Hey, 
Okay, look at that thing that oh. gooses. That's the young bitch. Boy. Oh no. No, no, boy, you just can't come in. But why? Because you can. That's why. Hey, is there a problem? Look, the problem is a kid and his sister are wanted around here by important people. And we, well, we, we just don't want any trouble here. You understand? I can see very well. Hugo, we have to go. What the fair? Come on. Imagine dicks. Hey Hugo. What? The first one to arrive at the cart wins 20 apples. 20 apples? But you'll never beat me. Right, Slug? What? You see. Oh yeah? Then on three. One, two, three! Hey! I'm right behind you! Move, oh, chickens! You can't beat me! <laughs> all right, all right. You won. Yes! 20 apples! We made it, Lucas. Do you have everything? The St. John's what? The Hawthorne? The... All of it. Let's go. Good. Amicia? Yes? Why are they looking at me like that? Melly looked at me the same way. Then she left. Because she doesn't like me anymore. Hugo, oh. she... She had other things to do. That's not true. But it doesn't matter. Run! <laughs> going to sleep much longer. She has to get her strength back. With the herbs you bought, she'll soon be back on her feet. All right. Hey, Hugo. What? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> You're ugly. Really ugly. <laughs> <gasps> ugly? Me? You look like a big fat fly. A fly? Your own sister? Oh, such a slur requires punishment. <laughs> Lucas! Hey! Help! The fly is attacking me! about this game uh, if I can rate it out of 10 I give it an 8 the reason why I give it an 8 is because one I'm still left with wondering what is this plague where did it come from like what is the origin of it 
I mean, at the top of my head, I like them I mean, as mystery. I mean, it could be something... It, it's not demonic, obviously, but it's supernatural. You know, what's the lore behind it? And second... The only problem I had with this game is... They should have kept it as a plague. You know what I mean? Like, the rats should have stayed as just a plague. Like, for example, uh... For example, viruses in the world. Viruses are always going to be here. There's no way to escape them. They're always going to be here. That's what I think this plague should be because this is a different world, obviously. And this world has a plague of rats that just roam around the world. So, I think the game would have been better if the rats were just there. And this country, you know, the, the, the knights, whatever you want to call them, they, uh... I think the whole plot of it was just to use these rats as an advantage to take over countries. I mean, that's what it looked like throughout the whole game, right? But the fact the fact that at the end of the game we had to use rats, it kind of it kind of killed it. That's why I think the rats should have just stayed their own thing. No one could control them. No one understands them. They're just there and people need to deal with it. Like ants. Ants are everywhere, we just deal with them. We know how dangerous they can be. Um, it's a great game. The characters are lovely. Graphics are beautiful. Yeah, 8 out of 10. I recommend this game. I just, yeah, that's my only problem with it. The rats should have stayed rats. And it shouldn't, there should have been a little bit more lore to it, but eh, maybe I didn't see anything or maybe I didn't dig deep enough. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me in this journey. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I was quiet the whole time, but remember, if you guys have been hanging with me a long time, I like to play these games quiet and like a movie, so 